When I was young, my first camera was a Nikon Coolpix 6 uh, little point and shoot camera. After I got that camera, that's when I knew I really loved taking photos and capturing moments. I took that thing everywhere with me to school, everywhere after school, everywhere. And I was always taking photos of my friends and just interesting things that I found along the way. But I took a photography class and I loved it. And then the next quarter, I took a graphic design class and that's when I really knew I wanted to do photography because I had all these photos that I didn't know what to do with and ours are, our assignments were, you know, design a billboard around one of your photos or design a magazine cover or things like that. And that really showed me how many options you had with photography. I'm Julian Thomas and I'm a photographer. What I like to focus on is portraits. Um, to me, that's just one thing that I've always had a, uh, what you could say, upper hand on are my interactions with people and, you know, uh, getting them to smile, to laugh, to share a story, to let me in a little bit more than you would anybody else. Uh, because I am trying to create a story with that portrait and tell their story. Uh, I really like shooting cityscapes, weddings, alleys, textures, buildings, architecture, the people, inanimate objects, uh, scenery. I do it all, or I try and do it all, but what I like to show in my photographs is a sense of emotion, a sense of questioning what's happening in this photo. Um, because literally, as an artist, your eyes are always wondering, always looking for the next shot, for the next painting, for the next anything. And there's an art in everything you see around you. You just have to arrange it or add some lighting, add some shadows. I like going to abandoned places and desolate locations just, uh, just because there's so much you can find and so many things that people ignore that they don't see art in uh, or they don't find any value in. Uh, just because it may not look so nice or it may not uh, be exactly what they're looking for. And tilt your head a little bit. There you go. That looks nice. It is easy to these days to grab a hold of anything. Everything has a camera on it. The only reason cell phones come out with new additions each year is to improve the camera and a little bit of uh, technology when they say they're photographers or when they say that uh, they can take your wedding photos, no problem. You have to be able to create those moments on the fly and always be thinking of the next thing that's coming. Uh, one, because you're doing a job uh, or you're doing it for your craft, which you know you have it in goal in sight. And a lot of people these days, because it is so easy to take millions of photos, they just keep snapping and snapping and snapping without even thinking. It's, it's the intention behind the shot, I think, that matters uh, the most. That's one of the main things, I think, that sets people apart when they say they're photographers. It's, it's hard competing against random people that don't have the education. I have a degree in photography, a uh, bachelor's degree in photography. You know, you're not going to know that this person has no training, no education, no skills in photography, but they just wanted your money and so, uh, and they had equipment. So you're not going to know till the end. That's why you should always go with a professional who knows what they're doing. I like to be challenged 
on my skill. I like to be challenged on what I personally think I can do and what other people think I can do. It's always fun uh, to, uh, to prove people wrong um, and to outshine yourself. Um, and that's one thing that you get in school and that's one reason why I really loved being in school and would love to go back actually. But again, I don't like to be tested on what I know. So I don't think it will ever work out again. <laughs> Being in school is very important, if not just for the education, but for the networking and getting to know your peers and getting to know people uh, that do the same craft as you. Um, because there's, it's one thing to challenge yourself to do better, but when someone else challenges you, that's also in the same line of work you're in, you sort of get that fire underneath of you. And right now I'm about to go out and take some photographs, go on a ride, see what I can find. To learn more about me, you can visit my website at juliantomasphotography.com.